hi guys thank you so much for clicking thank you so much for joining me my name is zippy and first of all i want to say thank you to my new subscribers thank you for subscribing to my channel i see you and yeah thanks for joining the team so today i'm gonna be joined by my husband again and we'll be talking about the five things that you need to know before moving to australia the borders are open in australia and the lockdowns are finished what are the five things that you might need to know before visiting or coming to australia yeah without further ado let's get the video started and welcome to the channel babe thank you and yeah mm -hmm. so the first point is the cost of living yes cost it's, of living in australia is high yes it's freaking expensive mm. personally i came as a student yeah. and as a student you pay yeah. thousands and thousands and international students pay more than local students yeah yeah international students you pay thousands and thousands and thousands of money which in the end when you start working it yeah it kind of makes sense because mm. the wages are a bit higher yeah well wages are high in australia that's why everything costs more because yeah yeah just it's a roll-on effect the knock-on effect from high wages is high brings us to our point number two which is the wildlife yeah wildlife there's there's a few things to say about wildlife yeah. in australia because there's there's a, i think there's cliches you know like the poisonous that everything's poisonous yes well the, the things we probably do have a lot of things that will kill you but they're just not everywhere then it's not like there's a thousand things in each suburb of each area yeah. or whatever that's yeah it's not like there's creepy crawlies lurking waiting to kill you they're there yeah but you won't find them like you, you won't just be walking on the streets and you're like oh my god that's a snake oh my god that's no not, yeah no. snakes mm, not yes we have deadly snakes but they're in regional areas they're in forests and in deserts and in places where people aren't yes that's yeah. very true so i mean if you go camping in the mm -hmm. middle of nowhere mm -hmm. okay then you... you have to be careful of snakes and spiders and yes. creepy crawlies that will bite you but yeah um the wildlife that the poisonous wildlife it's not a big problem people it's nothing yeah. to worry about like it, i've been here for seven going eight years and i've never seen a snake yeah i've never seen a snake and i've seen some spiders but not the poisonous yeah. or the deadly spiders and even the ones that are poisonous mm -hmm. the ones that are deadly poisonous or will make you very sick mm -hmm. i just don't show you the so we've seen some. <laughs> no, I just kill them quick and then. Are you kidding me? They're mostly. Oh, they're mostly guys, in the shed. I, I think I most, think they're mostly in the shed. I'm gonna take my point back. <laughs> Are but you kidding? Redbacks. They're the they're the, the redback <clears throat> redback spider is the most deadly one that we encounter. Most it's the most common spider that's kind of deadly. Wait, sweetheart. What? We've, we've they've been deadly spiders, but you didn't show me. Yeah, I'll just kill them and, and <laughs> flush them down the toilet or something. You know, like. I think I'm taking back my point, guys. <laughs> no, don't. The, the fact of the matter is they're only outside in the shed or, you know, <laughs> they're, you know, then it's, they're not under the toilet seat or something like that. It's, anyway, my, my point is that the, the deadly stuff is not everywhere. We're not infested with deadly poisonous stuff. Wow. Um, Okay, Creatures. I'm not, yeah. My lips are sealed. I'm okay. not talking. I'm not. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Uh, under wildlife, we also have a point that you, like, you should be careful or be do your due diligence if you intend to travel from one uh, state to the next because yeah. there's some states. Or well, even when you're coming to Australia. Yes. Um. Yeah, the Maasai market. Yeah. When we were in Kenya, we went to the Maasai market. They looked at me and they said, oh, where are you from? I said, Australia. They said, okay, none of these. You can have these because they, they know you can't take wood, you know, certain things, anything that has fruit or vegetables or, you know, anything, basically organic products with the exception, of, I think, bone. I think you can take bone. You can bring things made out of bone. You can. I don't know. But anyway, that, it was good that the, the Maasai market in Kenya, they knew. Mm-hmm. If I think you're Australian, yeah, so I think so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I think that 
they've served uh, you know a good amount of Australian tourists, mm. and so they they knew that what you know certain things can't be brought in. If there's a piece of wood, it could have a parasite in it, and then all of a sudden we have a, a parasite that we've never seen before, yeah. and we have no natural uh, predator for that parasite, and then all of a sudden it's a it's a major issue. So. So do your due diligence, like do yeah. your research yeah. on the things that you want to bring into the country. Because yeah. innocent me, as I was coming, I brought my muikos. I don't know if muiko is not, I hope no one from the um, border protection is watching because <laughs> nothing happened. Nothing has happened for eight years. Yeah. But do your due diligence, like do your research on what you intend to bring yeah what you're bringing in yeah because some things are just not allowed past yeah, yeah and they'll be confiscated ah! confiscated yeah they'll be that one yes, and there's no point you know if if you're just gonna bring something and you're not gonna use it yeah just don't bring it so and if you intend to travel from one state to the oh, next yeah from yeah so in yeah in certain areas in Australia um, there'll be a, just a fruit a fruit growing region or a, a region where they grow fruit and vegetables. Um, if you're traveling into that area, whether it be from another state or it doesn't really matter. If you're traveling into that area, there'll be signs on the side of the road that, as you're driving. It'll say in one kilometer or in two kilometers, it'll say there's a, a rubbish bin that you need to empty your fruit and vegetables. Yeah. Uh, and because if there's a parasite in the fruit and vegetables that you have in your car yeah. and you take it into a, in a, into a fruit growing area, yeah. yeah, you can wipe out entire crops and yeah, we just don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like an example, if you're traveling from Melbourne to Adelaide, yeah. you will need to, okay, driving that is. Yeah, you halfway. Will, yeah. You'll need to. You'll see the signs on the side of the road. It'll say you empty need to fruit and, uh, chuck fruit and vegetables. Out, yeah, you yes. throw out your fruits yeah. and veggies, and if you get caught, yeah, pass. there's penalties if you if you're just ignoring the signs and you keep driving and you know you have fruit and veg in the car. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you'll be fined. So. And you'll be fined a good I, amount. Of yeah, money. I think. Yeah, I think I can't remember. Maybe a thousand dollars or something like that. There you go. And the fines are expensive. <laughs> the too. fines are high. Driving here, yeah. fines. Oh. That's a stop. Because hopping for another day. Yeah. Yes. So did we say there's no kangaroos in the streets? We haven't gone there yet. Oh, okay. That's also another wildlife. Yeah. We know? don't ride kangaroos. <laughs> do people yeah. say you ride kangaroos? Well, that, that's, I think it was on The Simpsons or something. We do not ride kangaroos. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Like, you'll see... The back is too smooth. Not even that. If, it's hard if... to like... <laughs> <laughs> but... In the in the suburbs where there is a lot of trees and a lot of people have fruit trees in their backyards, mm -hmm. there is lots of possums. Mm. But other than that, we don't you don't have koalas or kangaroos. Yeah. In um, the in the suburbs. In the suburbs, more or less, never. Yeah. Mm. I think koalas are my favorite. Yeah. Aussie animals. Yeah. You know, they're so cute. So cute and cuddly. And they're mm. drunk all the time. Yeah. <laughs> drunk Drunk on eucalyptus all eucalyptus the time. Eucalyptus all the time. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Point number three is the beach culture. Mm. I think that's a good way to sum it up, beach culture. Yeah. So I think this mm. would explain why <laughs> it's not uncommon to see men walking without their shirts on. Mm. Especially near the beach or near the river or if it's... You know, yeah. in summer, if it's, say, a suburb near a beach or something like that. Mm. Yeah. You'll see what people walking without yeah, uh, without people. shirts on. and No shoes, no shirt. Yeah, it's and that is very mm -hmm. true because I think a few months after I landed, we were in school, me and my friend, my friend and I, we went to the beach. And that's the first time I think I encountered someone walking without shoes. And not just <laughs> one person, it was an entire family clan um, mother father and i think there were two or three kids two or three kids yeah no shoes none of them at the supermarket just the kids <laughs> running around with no shoes mom and dad just following yeah. them doing their shopping with their trolley with no shoes and we yeah. were just like okay 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 also that sums up the point that australia is a freaking hot yeah okay the sun is hot summertime yeah i don't know how true this is you can actually cook your egg in your driveway <laughs> yeah is that true well it's not too far from the truth i think 
Yeah, I think that's pretty. Yeah. I've never tried it, but I'm sure you could. You could. Yeah. And um, just lay a pan down in the driveway. I'm sure you could. Cause it's so hot. Mm. Or it won't cook, but it's gonna be mm. a one one sunny side up. <laughs> it's gonna be at least sunny side up, yeah. Yeah, and another one I also remembered is like when it's so so hot and you're driving out in the um, out of the cities, you'll see signs that say oh fire danger, fire danger, yes, yeah. yeah. So if you're driving out of yeah. the don't, cities, don't throw a cigarette butt. Yeah. Yeah, extinguish your cigarette butt before you throw it out the window. Yeah. Because you could cause a major fire and kill people. Yeah. So the fourth point is the people here don't take themselves so seriously. Like, it just, it is what it is. No worries. You know? No worries. Yeah. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Australians, um, we joke a lot. Yeah, like some jokes, you'll be like, uh, should I be offended? Should I not? <laughs> so you're like, uh, what the hell was that supposed to mean? But the more you interact with the people, yeah. the more yeah. you know that it's just, you know, banter that doesn't mean any harm. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that, so... That's, that's a big point. That, um, if someone's joking with you, uh -huh. it's a sign of acceptance, not a sign of rejection. Yes. It's, it's a sign, There, yeah. They're comfortable with you. They're comfortable with you. Yeah. But also it depends with what they're joking about. There's some yeah. things that if someone joked around, I wouldn't take them lightly. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, there's that. And I think the, the older generation mm -hmm. um, have inherited a bit of um, dryness to the, to the humour. Mm -hmm. They have quite dry humour, so... Mm. Um, Dad jokes? Well, dad jokes, yeah, but I think um, they'll say something with a completely blank face oh, yeah. and then you have to work it out. Um, His dad. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, um. Hi, dad. <laughs> Hi, dad. Um, yeah, they'll say things with a with a completely blank face and wait for your reaction. Yeah. Uh, and and people who are unfamiliar will just they don't know if it's an insult. They don't know if they're un, under fire. They don't know if they're under attack or yeah. So many times. But if it, if it seems like someone's insulting you and you've just met them, the chances oh. are they're just joking with you yeah. and they're trying trying to they feel comfortable with you and they're trying to make you feel at home or. Uh, uh, yeah, don't take themselves too seriously and um, I guess expect others to not take themselves too seriously. Yeah, like I was about to say, like, um, so oftentimes your dad will make will talk about something and I'll just be like, <laughs> and they'll be laughing and they're saying, ah, <laughs> yeah. it's a joke. And I'm like, okay, mm. you know, but I don't take it, I don't take it offensive or anything because... Yeah. I, I do have also that kind of sarcasm. It's just because mm. I only, you know, it's a sarcasm. I just kind of think it's for people of your age or oh, yeah. da, da 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 da. But if someone older is giving me that sarcasm, I kind of don't take it as sarcasm, but mm. I'm learning. It's still sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, um. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even my client's dad, yeah. Yeah, you, you have a client oh. at work. He's, when we first met him, we thought, oh, what just abrupt or yeah like yeah. and then once you get to know him you realize you, that he he's has, just he's just joking yeah he's, he's not he's not being nasty he's not being, he's just joking he's yeah just, yeah it's yeah. his way of relating to you and that's yeah. just yeah, that's just what it is yeah so yeah don't take yourself so seriously and yeah. don't don't take australians too seriously yeah it, that's yeah, yeah there's a fine line because if a total total stranger is being, being offensive yeah yeah but if it's someone who you're trying to to connect with or someone that you're building a relationship yeah. with, whether it's romantic, platonic, platonic or yeah. whatever, yeah. don't be turned off because hmm. there's a culture here that, yeah. Hmm. Like, is <laughs> yeah, that, no, I'm just it, thinking that's... Is that's it, no, it's true. It's, it's true. true? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hmm. Spot on, guys. Yeah. Don't be offended if uh, if Australians say stuff that seems odd or strange or insulting. Yeah, but not to say that that's an excuse for bad behavior. Yeah, it's if, no excuse for bad behavior. If yeah. someone's just being nasty, they're just being nasty. Yeah, but. like today if I met someone on the streets or on the train, 
and they're trying to say some things, I'll take that as an offense. You don't yeah. know me. Yeah, or if they're just being nasty, they're just being nasty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And also, yeah, anyway. Yeah. And here also, like, they're swearing and raising your voice. Yeah. Like, if my husband here is swearing and raising his voice, yeah. it doesn't always necessarily mean that he's angry or no. I'm in trouble, you know? Hmm. It's just, what is it? It's urgency. What is that? Like, it's, I'm trying to explain <clears throat> this thing is very urgent. Uh. What, you know, the, <laughs> <laughs> the the topic the words explain what's happening and the the volume and the amount of swear words explain how urgent it is that I'm telling you or what I'm telling you is <laughs> I feel like this is a repeatable culture you know so, yeah a little bit but it's uh, it's five things people things things people need to know people need yeah. to know yeah so yeah you know yelling raising your voice yeah, it's not really a big deal it's, it goes back to not taking ourselves so seriously. Yeah, it's yeah. at the same point. Yeah, like yes. even these times you'll be you'll be talking to me, mm -hmm. and your voice is up there. <laughs> and I'm you like, turn around and go, "Are you angry?" Are you angry? <laughs> no. no, I'm just, I'm trying, just trying to get trying. my point across. <laughs> and I'm just if, trying to be clear and concise. And if you're talking to your mates, that's yeah. the same thing. Yeah, I'll be like, I don't know, I don't know. It's I'm still getting used to it. Mm -hmm. So that's another point you should, and that does not mean that at the workplace it's going to happen. If that happens at the workplace, that's not. Well, I suppose, yeah. That, yeah. That may be. That's in a social setting. Yeah. In a social setting, if someone is swearing and raising their voice, it mm. doesn't necessarily mean that you're. It doesn't necessarily mean, but I mean, yeah, read the, read each situation is, yeah. is, um, is yeah. different. So yeah, true. Read the situation. Yeah. So number five, the continent is huge. Yeah, it's a country and a continent. It's so. a con yeah, it's freaking huge. Mm. And our cities are not close together. The the cities, especially the major cities, mm -hmm. are not close together. So you, the further you go north or the further you go inland, mm -hmm. the more you have to watch out for. How much petrol do I have? How much fuel is in this car? Yeah. Um, oh. And where is the next refueling station? Because you can you can end up with no fuel and no refueling station for a hundred kilometers this way or that way or this way or that way. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. So, so if, if you go if you're coming to Australia and you're going to travel uh -huh. regionally. Uh -huh be aware that you can get stuck and there's signs on the side of the road that says no fuel for 100 a, a hundred, two hundred. 100, 200, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's 500 kilometers. That's, that's a good so, point, so, something to keep in yeah, mind. Yeah. You need to be aware that it's a big country and it's the driest landmass on the face of the planet. Yep. Uh, the cities are just on a, a water source, whether they be on a river or a creek or Alice Springs is on some springs you know it's um is alice springs is on some springs yeah how oh. springs that come up from the ground you know and there uh, it's under this yeah the, the water just comes under. up yeah the water comes up oh this should go there okay have you been actually dead center it's um mm, it's hot though <laughs> it's uh, of course <laughs> <laughs> i take back my words yes, of course it's, it's very hot, freaking darling. hot yeah yeah okay so yeah, that's our five points. Yeah. Um, bonus point. Can I say my point okay, before yeah, you say you, the bonus you go, point? You go. One other thing. Um, and this is not for everybody, but this is just from my personal experience, is that if you're from Africa, if I may say, you'll experience racism on the low low. Mm. Well, the racism here is not as crazy as you see on the news in the u.s or whatever but here you'll experience it in in like you've sat on the train and no one else is gonna come sit next to you people will rather stand than sit next to you at first it used to be you know so concerning and i'm like oh okay should i be the one to get up or something but you know you just take it like oh now i have 
the entire <laughs> seat for yeah, myself. Yeah, I can. <laughs> but anyway. when it's happening to you and you're just mm. new in this country and yeah. you don't understand what's going on, yeah. you'll be like, oh, this is odd. Everyone is just going to sit. And you're left there with your whole seat. And maybe one person will come and sit at the edge. Yeah. So if that happens, you take it in the positive way. You know you have the whole space to yourself. Don't be alarmed. And you're not the problem. Mm. Yeah, so... I I kind of see that tying into my to the, the bonus point. Mm -hmm. Is that Melbourne culture, so we're in Melbourne, mm -hmm. is different to the rest of the country. Mm, okay. um, and you've never lived in other, any other city. No, I haven't. So, so I, I, I think that ties into Melbourne culture being different to the rest of the... Melbourne is the only city that was not founded uh, as a uh, prison colony. It's, prison colony? Yeah, well, every other major city was just a big prison to begin with. So the people are kind of humble. But in Melbourne, not so much. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, Melbourne was... was um, a migrant city. Uh huh. Um, well, that's that's how it began. Oh, and, and you... yeah, it's the culture is. Mar there's a marked difference in culture in Melbourne to other cities. Um. Mm. So that that explains also why like Melbourne is the most multicultural yes. city. Yes. Yeah. Oh, do yeah. you find everyone and anyone in Melbourne. Yeah. Hmm, but I didn't know that Melbourne was the. Yeah. It's the only people. major city. It's the only capital city. That was um, not founded as a prison colony. As a prison colony. Yeah. Okay, there you go, guys. Yeah, you see, we're all learning. Now yeah. you know something. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope that video was helpful. Yeah. Those are five the things. Five things that you probably need to know before yeah. you travel or if you're thinking to travel or you have a family or friend who wants to yeah. travel. Visiting can... Australia or moving to Australia. It doesn't. Yeah. 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 So yeah, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Mm. Bye. Bye, -bye.